Now, the Great Pyramid of Giza is probably the most stunning of all these ancient structures. And the, the stones are immense, and some of them were cut from a quarry that's hundreds of miles away. How do you think they did that? Stunning detail. Those, those blocks on the, king's, on the roof of the king's chamber weigh 70 tons each. And it was this ancient apocalypse 12,800 years ago that wiped that from the human memory banks almost completely. And anything that's there short of large megalithic blocks is going to be utterly obliterated by the time the process is, is through. Because, I mean, we could get into some of the stuff here because there is, I think there's evidence that exists now. I mean, modern... What Randall's talking about now is people who are working on a whole alternative path of technology. And maybe that's a rediscovery of the kind of technologies that were used by a lost civilization. One that's not utilizing internal combustion engines and cranes and yeah. and the like that we experience Leverage. today. That's, that may be what we're looking at. And that may begin to explain these, these otherwise inexplicable monuments that have survived.